que de Mario. Qué bien. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm just fine. I'm just fine. We are on time. Yes. Hello, how are you? <laughs> okay. Fine. Very fine. Great. Excellent. Excellent. That's fine. I have a question. Uh, yes, tell me. Uh, I was making the the lesson number one point uh, ten, and uh, just a, a little test I complete, but uh, my answers the computer say that uh, they are wrong, but I, I don't understand. One eleven would it be? Yeah, uh, it's a. Uh, it's about of the short answers when you are, uh, for example, uh, I am not, uh, yes, it isn't, yes, he okay, is. But what is the number of the exercise? One seven is a knowledge check. One, one, one eleven or one ten? Let's see, one ten is objective, one eleven is a video, one twelve. Oh, one twelve, okay, one twelve. Yes, long, yes, no long answers with B. Yeah. Okay, the idea here is that you are supposed to make long answers. Long answers? Yes, long answers. Like, are you from the United States? Yes, I am from the United States. Oh, maybe Did that's the problem. It? Yeah, it could be. And remember that you need to use the comma, the dot at the end. It's important. Okay, that's. I think that this was the problem because I, I use the short answers. For example, no, I am not. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you something. Just a second. Uh, let's see. Share and along this here. Okay, this is the exercise, you see? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, see. if you see, this I just did it in this moment. Yes, Okay. I am, yes, I am. I am from the United States. States, I have to use the complete statements. Yes, and okay. the dot at the end, okay? Okay. The dot at the end and the comma. Oh. Okay. Those little okay, that was remember remember always capital for yes, capital for I. All right. That was my problem because I use the short answers, for example, no, I am not. And oh. I just live. Yes. And the computer said the computer told me that that's wrong. And what's oh, happened yeah, with that result? Problem. Because the, the computer or, or when I tried to complete a game. Uh, it would be clear or the system the platform is going to take your highest grade highest grade el sistema le tomará la nota más alta okay 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 so you can repeat the exercise as many times as you need all right okay good So don't worry about that. You can you can see me, or you can watch me. What is it? What is the the form correct? In this say? case, in this case, it's see me. Can you see me? Can, can you, you see me? See? No, I okay. cannot. Oh, uh, let me try here. The configuration of video is. Uh, Okay, well, it's good that I could help you, Rodrigo. Okay. Let's see who else is here. Dinora Elizabeth. Hello, Dinora. Oh, Dinora left. Vanessa, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, Fisher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. And you? 
Ah, uh, now I am better because yesterday you were not in the class. No, but I don't understand the the uh, yesterday uh, the class. You couldn't connect. No, it, I, I am in this group. Yo, yo estoy en este grupo. Okay. <laughs> what's your, what's the email you got? Uh, Because you could access uh, here according in, to the email. Accesso acá de acuerdo uh -huh. al correo. Yes. ¿no? Okay, in then English. this is. In English pre intermedio módulo 1. Yes. Because you were in beginner 3, remember? Después de principiante 3, después de principiante 3 pasamos a pre intermedio 1. Ah, okay, okay. Good. <laughs> Don't worry, Vanessa. There's some of your previous classmates are here, so don't worry. Okay, okay. Okay, well, let's see who else is here. Mr. Juan Carlos Peña, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Uh, tired, but... Tired? A hard day? I'm tired. Did you have a hard day at work? A difficult day? Yes, yes. Uh, a lot of work, uh, but but ready for the class teacher. Okay, that's excellent. I like it that you are ready for the class. It's great. Yes, teacher. Well. Welcome, Juan Carlos. Let's see who else is here. Jimena. Hello, Jimena. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, too. How are you tonight? I'm relaxed. Relaxed? That's cool. Yes. Yes. I, at what time I have did you dinner. Get home? Uh, I'm working home. Ah, I'm working from home. Yes. I'm working from home. Okay, great. That's excellent. <laughs> I'm staying all day here. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good. You are safe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Look, thank you, Jimena. There's Janari. Janari, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm relaxed, teacher. Relaxed? Cool. I like that attitude. Tell me, how was your day? <laughs> And uh, interesting, it was interesting because I was busy all the day, all day, and yes, but it was relaxed. Yeah, when we are busy, we don't feel when, when we check out, it's time to go home. And yes, 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 yes. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that. I hate when you feel that, that the day is very long, man. That's yes, terrible. Yes, yes, yeah. So, but uh, when I I get in at home, uh, I play I play it with my son. Uh, really, you play with your kids? Yes, yes, okay. I have a son. How old is mm -hmm. How old is your son? He has two he years is? old. He is. Sorry. He is two years old. Oh, really? Three years old. Yes. Hmm. Yes, to your phone. <laughs> it's a little kid. He, he's playing with a, how can I say, bato? What? Silbato. Who no, silbato? Whistle. 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 Thank you. Okay. He's playing with a whistle. He's playing with a whistle. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay, look in the chat. Look at teacher. Where you got the word? Whistle. Uh, whistle. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks to you, Janari. Good evening, Francisco. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am very well, teacher. Okay. Tell me, how was your day, Francisco? Um, this day, very busy, very busy, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So, you have many activities? 
Yes, for example, for example, I was wrote a report, check email. I was very busy. Okay. Yes. But, but I say, lie because the day passed very quickly. Yeah, oh, that's sorry. good. That's good. Remember, you can say, I have to, because you are talking about some obligations that you perform in your workplace. You can say, I have to, like, I have to create a report. I have to check emails. Okay. Oh, okay, teacher. Really? It's good. True. Yeah. If you check in the chat, I already wrote that that sentence for you. I have to. That can be like like the first part of the sentence. I have to check emails. Like in my case today, oh, I have to prepare prepare this class. I had to check some information. Those were my obligations, tasks that I had to do this day. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Morena. Hello. Good evening, Morena. Good evening, teacher, every and everyone. How are you tonight? And relax. Relax, good. Yes, but I had a, a busy day. Oh, really? Yes. Can you tell me some of the things that you did today? I ha, I work in a insurance report. Insurance report? Yes. Oh, because uh, we had some um i don't know incidentes or problemas reclamos okay uh, an accident a uh, request complaints ah okay uh, I had in the office uh, complain some complaints it's okay okay yeah uh, okay Okay, that's for the for so, the rain for the rains. For the we oh have, because, because because of the rain. Or the rain. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We have some okay. problems in the, con, with the tenants. Oh that's a problem. Okay. Yeah. You can also can say um, another word that you can use for reclamo is claim. Claim. Oh, okay. Okay. But complain. A complain is when somebody goes and and perhaps write something. Okay. And uh, let's see. And uh, let me. How can I explain this to you? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Complain. My bad. I was missing a T. Complain. Complain. Here at the end. Complain. Okay. Complain is. Queja. Ah, okay. 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 Claim is reclamo. For the claim. insurance, for the insurance, to, to be more claim. Claim. Oh, okay. To be more specific, oh. claim. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, who else is around here? Mr. Carlos Cruz, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Carlos, how are you? Fine, I'm so relaxed. That's good, back in the class, that's nice. Yes. Okay, great. Because great. today I return to my work, uh, me temprano, no sé. Early. Early. Okay. From my and work. sleep. Okay. And in slept. The... Oh, really? You took a nap? In the afternoon. Okay, that means that you took a nap. You took a nap, una siesta. Okay, took a nap. Yeah, you can say. I took a nap. I took a nap. Yeah. Let's see. Well, welcome, Carlos. Let's see who Thank else you. is here. 
Natalia, good evening, Natalia. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Natalia? Tell me. I'm fine, but I'm uh, a little cansada. No, I don't know what Tired? they say, cansada in English. Tired. Tired? Because, because I, today I have many class for Zoom with my students. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Many classes. Many it's classes. Plural. Okay. Remember, when you say Thank many, you. you're saying you're using plural. Perfect. Well, here you're going to relax a little bit. We are going to be making a different activities, so don't worry. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> oh, thanks to you. Let's see. There's Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Vicky. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Um. I am worried. Why? Because my friend is in the hospital. Oh, I am so mm -hmm. sorry to hear that. Thank you, teacher. Let's hope he gets better soon. Thank you. No, thanks to you, Vicky. Let's see who else is around. Gladys. Hello, Gladys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, Gladys, tell me, where do you live? Uh, I live in San Salvador, in right. Apopa. Are you from Apopa? Or where are you what? from originally? Are you from Apopa or you were born somewhere different, in another place? Oh, uh, I, I from uh, in Lovasco Cabañas, but oh, really? I live now in Apopa. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's nice. Thank you, Gladys. Okay. Roxana, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Roxana. Yes. Are you ready for the class? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, that's, that's teacher, nice. I have, uh, when I respond, are you ready? You, I can say only ready or I'm ready. What is the correct? The most correct is yes, I am ready. Mm -hmm. Or yes, I am. If you want it short, yeah. you can say yes, mm -hmm. I am. Some people say like, if, uh, some people say like, are you ready? Ready. But mm, that's not correct. The correct is yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Well, are you ready, Roxana? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, excellent. And you know what, Roxana? That's part of today. If, if you remember, guys, in every class, I at the beginning, I try to make questions related to the topic. Today, we are going to be working with questions. Questions with WH question and yes, no questions with the verb be. Today, we are going to be working just with the verb be. Okay, let's see. There's Adonai. Good evening, Adonai. How are you? Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. So, Adonai, how was your day? I'm very good. Very busy, very good. So, are you tired? No, I'm not tired. I'm relaxed. Well, that's cool. That's great. How old are you, Adonai? I, I am 38 years old. 30? 38. 38. Yes. For real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's real. <laughs> Man, because when I am when I have many activities at the end of the day, I'm like, man, I am like tired, wasted. But it's good I, that you got I a try lot of to energy. put to the energy about the date. Okay. And you are single, that's why. Yeah, I'm single. <laughs> yeah. That That's affects good. a little bit. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Adonai. Okay, guys, let's see. I think I have greet everybody. Creo que ya lo vimos a todo. Oh, there's Natalia. Hello, Natalia. Hello, teacher. Hello, Natalia. How are you? Fine. Uh, I, tell me, I, uh, I 
said about my class in Zoom. Oh, yes, you did. I'm sorry, Natalia. Thank uh, you. Don't worry, teacher. Who am I missing? Rubidia. Hello, Rubidia. Hello. Mm, Rubidia was having problems yesterday with the connection. Let's see. Well, no worries, Rubidia. Later we can, we are going to have an activity so we can participate. So guys, today, as I told you, we are going to be working with the verb B, WH questions with the verb B, and yes, no questions with the verb B. So we have a lot of information to cover, actually. And let's start, let's see. If you remember, I asked you yesterday to watch the video, the short video that is in the platform related to the verb B. Do you, do you remember, guys? It was the 1.6. I asked you to check 1.6 and 1.9. Okay. And we are going to work a little bit with it right now. So before we start, any question? Antes que comencemos, alguna pregunta? Any doubt? No, no? teacher. We cool? Great. Excellent. So let me share with you the screen and I'm going to do some little thing here. Bluetooth note. Let me see and I need to plug this in so you can listen to AUX it note. correctly. And let's see, I'm going to share with you this here. Okay, there is Jessica and is going to talk. Lesson participants will be able to ask and answer questions with B using WH question words what, who, where, when, and how. First, let's listen to an audio program and then we'll talk about it. WH questions with B. What's your name? My name's Beth. Where's your friend? He's in class. Whose son he? She's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They're very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They're really interesting. When we use WH question words, we want to know more information. Therefore, your answer cannot be yes or no. It is necessary to know the meaning of each word so you know what you're being asked. This way, you will be able to give a correct answer. Okay, guys. If you notice, part of her explanation uh, in the end was very important. Says we need to know what is the meaning of the WH question so we can recognize what they are telling us. And that's what we are going to be working with today. Because usually, let's see, what are the WH questions you remember? Tell me, guys. What? What? Who? Who? Where? 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 When? When? How? 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 Why? What? Why? Okay. Why? 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 Now, Where? I'm going to show you something very Why? interesting. I'm going to show you something very interesting that it's going to be like awesome to you. Because usually when we are in English classes, they just tell us about like six or seven of them, like what, where, when, why, how, who, which, and that's it. But we are going to be working. Remember, uh, last in the last module, the ones who were with me, we just saw a few of them. Tonight, we are going to open it a little bit more. It's going to get bigger. Emily, Let's start this, okay? Let's see, guys. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okie dokie. WH question. Remember, they are used to ask for specific information, okay? They can't be answered with a yes or no. Remember, when we have a WH question, they are asking for information. 
They are also called information questions. Let's look at the first one. Okay, we know what. We use what to ask about things, animals, objects, okay? Like, what is that? But then we have when. Oh, we use when to ask about time or a date. Like, do you remember from the last module, when were you born? Okay. We, are, we use it to ask for the information, but that information is the time. But now we have also how often. This is used to talk about the frequency. Like, let's see, Adonai, how often do you go to the movies? All of them. One a minute. Uh, Twice a maybe month? Once a, one, one a month. One a month? Okay, perfect. That's the frequency, you see? So when we ask how often, the question, the meaning of the question is one a minute. That's why it says here, it's about the frequency. Now, we use wish to make a choice, okay? Let's see. Let's make a small example of that, okay? Let's see. Um, Vanessa, which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? The black one or, the, or this one? Uh, the black. Okay. If you notice, I ask which one. Which I am one? asking her to make a choice. There, when the word "wish" appears, we have options. Why am I saying this? Because remember, sometimes we use "what," the, and for us it means "cual." In algunas ocasiones utilizamos "what" y para nosotros lo entenderíamos como "cual," like. What is your name? But when we are asking the other person about choices, we don't use what, we use wish. Okay? Any question? No, no teacher. Let's continue then, because there are still many. Look, after wish. We have why. Why is used to know the reason, like, why are you in English class? Okay? Or like, because. Uh, uh, Vanessa, why didn't you connect yesterday to class? I am asking for information. I'm asking for the reason, okay? Now, what time? Do you remember, uh, I asked, Someone, what time did you get home today? And that person, it was a lady, told me that today she had work from home. You remember? That's what time. When you ask about the time, the moment, the hour, okay, is different than when we use when. When is used for the day, and this is used for the exact moment, okay? We use whom about the object of the verb. Wow, okay. Whom? We are going to make some exercises with this one because I think you are not very familiar with it. Okay, don't worry. We are going to check it out later. We use where to know the place, okay? We use where to know the place, like uh, where do you live? Do you remember? I asked somebody for the place where she live and she told me I live in Apopa, okay? Or where are you from? Or where do you work? I'm asking about the place. Then we have who. Who is used to ask about people, like, uh, who is your boss, okay? Who is your girlfriend? Who is your boyfriend? We are asking about the person, that's who. Oh, this is interesting. 
How old? Why do we have it here? Oh, because if you remember how, just the word how, by itself, it just means como. But here, when we have it with how old, it is used to ask about age, right? Like I ask uh, Adonai, how old are you? And he told me, I am 38. You see, I was asking about the age. We use how to ask about manner, okay? That's why the... Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, if uh, I take advantage of the moment, uh, please, uh, can you explain about the, between the difference when I have to use who versus whom? Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to explain that later in the class. Lo voy a explicar un poquito más adelante. Okay. That's, that's not quite common, and I want to be clear with it. Okay? Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, guys. So we use how to talk about manner. Okay? Like, that's why it translates exactly to como. Okay? Exactly like that. Como. We use how long to talk about duration or length. We are talking about time, but something different about the time, okay? Because we use when, when we ask like, a, when we ask about when were you born? You ask me, when were, when were you born, teacher? And I tell you, oh, I was born in December 17, 1979. And you told, and you asked me, what time were you born? Oh, I was born at 11 a.m. You see, I'm being very specific. How long did it take you to learn English? Mm, it took me like six months. You see, it's different. We use who's about possession. Who's, I'm going to explain it right now because it's very simple. Who's is very simple, like, who's this? Who's this? It's a phone. No, who's the king? Ah, who's, it's your. Okay, perfect, excellent. You see, very simple. It's yours, okay? Let's continue. Let's see, let's see, let's see, I am right here. We use how much about amount or price when we are talking about uncountable nouns, okay? We use how much to talk, how much to talk about amount or the price of thing. When it, when it talks about the amount, it's because we are talking about uncountable, okay? Because when we know when they are countable, we don't use how much. We use how many. Okay? The difference between how much and how many is that this one is used for prices and also quantity, but uncountable. How many is used to talk to, to ask about quantities, but exactly countable nouns. Because I don't ask you how many water. That's not correct. I can ask you, how much water? How much water do you want? Okay. This one. This one with how much and how many, don't worry. We are going to work with them later. So don't worry. How far? That's the distance. Okay. Uh, I remember that a long while ago, I asked uh, Adonai, if I'm not mistaken, how far was his workplace? Because he told me that it just takes him like 10 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, to get from his house to his workplace. So it's not that much far. So remember, we use how far to talk about distance. Now, let's practice, guys. Look at these questions. What's your name? 
Where is your job located? Who is your favorite actor? When is your birthday? Why are you in English class? You see all those questions? Let's do something, guys. I'm going to take a picture of the questions and send them to you, okay? Because I need you to please, I need you to please ask each other these questions in the breakout rooms right now. So in the WhatsApp group, I sent you all the questions already. Okay, and after when we come back, we are going to talk about the, what was the question? Who and whom, right? So, you got all the questions? Ya recibieron las preguntas? Yeah, I got it. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to create the groups right now. You're going to be working in pairs. So you can ask and answer fast, okay? You are going to have four minutes for the whole exercise. Let's jump in, guys. Okay, let's see, Mr. Renderos, can you get into the groups? Hello, Jimena. Hi. You were left alone. Yes, I'm alone. I practice alone. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to send you to another group, okay? Okay, thank you. And right now, you're there. Okay. Excellent. You finished, ladies? No, oh, okay. not yet. Not teacher. And where is your job located? It's in San Salvador, but in the same like you, I, in this moment, I work from my house. Okay. I'm working from home, remember. I'm working from I home. Home. I'm working from home. Yes. Okay. How is your favorite is your actor? Favorite? Who? Uh, my favorite actor is... Hmm. Uh, I don't know. remember, no. There's no favorite actor? No, no favorite actor. <laughs> oh, that's bad, that's bad. <laughs> he, he talk, but a little. He talk a little. A little English. Okay. Why are you in English class, Vanessa? Because it's necessary in this time hello teacher yes hello hello 
Teacher, yo había entendido mal, como que era una conferencia ayer, por eso no, y a la conferencia no pude oh, entrar la vez oh, pasada. Oh. <ríe> Ay, honest. Really, really, Vanessa? Yes, yes. <laughs> but, but I'm happy because the teacher is the same. That's good, that's great. So we can like share together. I don't understand. Yes. Yes, he finished. Okay, in 60 seconds, we are going back. Because okay. we are going to do it in front of the groups, the questions and the answers, okay? Okay. Okay. I have a trouble with with Rubidia teacher. I don't know. I'm sorry, perhaps she has trouble with connection. Um, Gone. Okay, let's see, let's see. Adonai, who do you work with? I work with uh, Franklin and, and Jimena. Okay, please Adonai, ask, uh, ask Jimena. Yeah, okay. okay. Okay, Jimena, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, what is your name? My name is Jimena Ayala. Where is your job located? It's in Antuoco, Catlán, Santa Elena. Okay. Who is your favorite actor? I don't have favorite actor, but I like Adam Sandler. Ah, okay, it's very good. When is your birthday? July 4th. Okay, and okay. the last one, why are you in English class? Because I need to practice my pronunciation and I want to learn a very, very fast English. Okay. okay. Okay, let's see. Just one little thing, Adonai. Birthday, birthday. Birthday. Okay. Birthday. I want to learn English fast. Okay? okay. Okay, thank you. Perfect. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, Jimena, please, would you like, would you mind asking the questions to Francisco, please? Okay. Okay, Francisco. So, what's your name? Okay, my name is Francisco Hill. Where is your job located? Uh, my job is located in Santa Ana. Who is your favorite actor? Uh, my favorite actor is Adam Sandler too. Good. <laughs> when is your birthday? Oh, my birthday is uh, June 18. Why are you in English class? Uh, because I need to learn English. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent, Jimena. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Mr. Carlos Cruz. Go, teacher. Please, ask the questions to Vanessa. Hey, what's your name? My name is Vanessa. Okay, where is your job located? My locator job is in San Salvador. Oh, who is your favorite actor? My favorite actor is DiCaprio. Leonardo. <laughs> when is your birthday? My birthday is on December 26. Six. Why are why are you in English class? Mm, because in this time is necessary. Mm. Thank you, Marina. Thank you. Okay, Marina. Uh, let's see. My job is located in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and not in this time. I think what you mean is nowadays. 
Nowadays, hoy en día. Nowadays, nowadays, ok. Yes. In, eh, eh, in, in this time, is the same. In this time, no, when you say in this time, no. you are talking about this moment. Ok. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you, teacher. So you, I think what you mean is nowadays. Nowadays. Now, nowadays. 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 Okay. Día. Hoy en día. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see. Thank Gladys. You. Hello, Gladys. Hello. Who do you work with, Gladys? Who was what? your partner? Who was your partner? ¿Con quién trabajó? Um... Cornejo, el apellido. Last name. Cornejo, Cornejo. Sorry. No oh, remember. Roxana. <laughs> Roxana. Okay, please. Gladys, ask Roxana. Okay. Um, what's your name? My name is Roxana Cornejo. Where is you? Where is your job located? Located. 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 Mm, it's downtown San Salvador. Who Who is your favorite actor? I don't yeah. have favorite actor, but I have a. Favorite actress. Okay, who's your favorite actress? Julia Robert. Oh. Please continue. I'm sorry. When is your first? When is your birthday? It's on July thirteen. Why are you in, in, in English class? Mm, because I, I want to speak English and I want to teach my daughter. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Okay, we are going to make a small pause because I need to explain something, okay? Do you remember that you were asking me about the use of who and whom? Okay, now, who and whom, it's, let's see, how can I make it very simple for you? For me, it's simple here in my head. Okay, it's like this, look. When you use who, you are asking quién. Okay, we are right with that. When you ask whom, you are asking a quien? Sounds a little bit weird, no? Let's wash it into uh, some examples. I'm going to give you some examples. Let's see. Uh, because when we use whom, grammatically is a little bit complex. If I try to explain you the rule, because the rule says that whom is, you use who when this is the, subject of the sentence and whom when you when you are talking about the object of the sentence but that's grammar and we are not getting into grammar right now so let's see uh, imagine that i say adonai was playing the guitar okay i want to make the question who was playing the guitar and you tell me he was playing the guitar, okay? Adonai was playing the guitar. The question, who was playing the guitar? Now, look at this sentence. I saw Adonai at the party. In this case, if I, I'm going to write both sentences to, for you, okay? Look in the chat. Uh, in the first one, I said that Adonai was 
playing the guitar. Okay. Can you see? Can you see, Can you see it in the chat? La pueden ver en el chat? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Adonai Teacher. was playing yeah. the guitar. So I ask Adonai is the subject. I can use who. Who was playing the guitar. Now look at this other sentence. I tell you, I saw Adonai at the party. Okay, if you check out that sentence, in this case, it's a little bit Who's different. Play the guitar. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me share it like this, it's better. Okay. Okay, if you see in this case, I have, I saw Adonai at the party. Okay, if you see in this case, Adonai is not the subject. The subject is I. So in this case, Adonai is the object of the sentence. That's why we use whom. Whom did you see? At the party. Okay. Es simple. En este caso, si la respuesta no es, si la respuesta es un pronombre personal, la pregunta va con who. Si a la hora de poner la respuesta, la podríamos contestar con you, con him, her, them. Ok. Podríamos contestar de esta manera, him, o her, o them. En estos casos utilizamos un. Por eso le dije, es más fácil de entenderlo para nosotros en español. If I tell you a quién o de quién. Right? And this is just quién. For example, teacher, for example, teacher, when you want to know who is the winner of the any one thing, for example, uh, you want to know what is the winner of the cell phone, you have uh, to make the question, who's the winner, who's the winner, or who is the winner? Who is the owner? Who is the who? owner? Who is who? the winner? Who is the owner of the cell phone? Okay. Okay. In this case, in this case, you are saying who is the owner of the cell phone? Because the answer is he is the owner of the cell phone. Okay. Okay. I get it. So that's the difference between who and whom. Okay. And mostly it's a matter of practice. I went a little bit ahead of of the of the classes giving you all the spectra of the WH questions. Because as I told you, usually you just see like six or seven, but I try to get you more so you can like start practicing. It's better if you start practicing. If you have any question, check them out. If you have any question later, let me know, okay? And I can perhaps prepare something, a better explanation for you. That's for all of you. Repásenlas, observenlas y si tienen una duda, háganmelo saber. Así yo preparo algo especial donde podamos verla de una manera más sencilla, ¿ok? ¿Any question up to here? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿No? Ok. Now, the next exercise we are going to do is very simple, ¿ok? Because... Eh, Something else that we needed to see today. It's a very, very simple conversation. That conversation is in the platform. And I'm sure that all of you checked it, checked it out. 
I'm going to project it to you and play it, and it's very simple. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes-no questions and short answers with B are introduced. I want you to listen and notice how Sun He and David ask each other yes-no questions and how they answer. How's it going? Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. In this lesson, participants will listen to now are you free okay the objective of this is simple well first off any question about the vocabulary no okay remember pretty good pretty good that's very good that's excellent pretty good is the same now yeah. let me see. Yes. Uh -huh. tell me uh, 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 what is the meaning the chemistry Chemistry, química. Ah, okay. Thanks. Okay. Now, the objective of this is the following. That we get acquainted with the yes, no questions with the verb B. Look, we have here a WH question. How is it going? This question is very common and it means like, it's like, how are you? It's the same. How are you? How is it going? How are you doing? How's everything? Okay? This is a greeting. Es un saludo. Okay? That's, how, that's why. How is it going? Fine. Thanks. How are you? It's the same question. Okay? But look at the sentence. Are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. If you see, in this case, the question doesn't have a WH. That's why we go directly to a yes or no answer. Okay. I think that image is too small, too tiny. I'm going to show it to you from the presentation that I prepared for you guys. I took it into an account. Okay. Look at the sense. Look at the question. Are you a student? Remember, we have short answers. Yes, I am. That's a short answer. No, I am not. Short answer, negative. But we also have long answers. Okay? Yes, I am a student. No, I'm not a student. Very simple. Okay? Questions here? No. No, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let's see. We have four questions. Are you in class? Is Maria your sister? Is Rebecca in this class? Are we in pre-intermediate one? Okay, just give me a second. Let's see. Perfect. Okie dokie, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to give you the questions again. I'm going to take the pictures so you can watch them. Let's see, and there we go. I thank you the pictures, guys. And we still got five minutes, so let's take advantage of that. We're going to go to the groups. I think everybody's in the group. Oh, let's see. Let's create them again. Okay, guys, let's jump in. Rubidia, can you get into the group? Perfect.
Vale. Let's, let's start. Okay. Start you or yeah, I answer I and you respond. Okay. Uh, are start. you in class? Yes, I am. I'm in English class. Okay. Is Marta your sister? No, he's not. Is Rebecca in this class? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he's not there. No, he's not no, here. She's not. No, she is ah, not. No, not here. Are you are we in pre intermediate one? Yes, free. I am. Pre pre intermediate pre one. In pre uh, yes I am. No, yes, yes we are, I think so. Ah, yes, we yeah. are. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes, we are. Ah, are we? Oh, sorry. See, <laughs> yes, we are. Okay, switch roles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Are you in class? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, teacher, pre-intermediate pre uh, pre pronunciation. Pre-intermediate. 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 Okay. Are, are we in pre intermediate want? Yes, we are. Okay. Yes, yes, we are. Second. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gladys, please. Would you mind asking your questions to Franklin? Gladys, hello. Sorry. Okay, no, no problem. No problem. Can you ask your questions to Mr. Franklin Mauricio, please? Okay. Are you in class, Franklin? Uh, yes, I am. Is Maria your sister? No, she's not. Is Rebecca in this class? Uh, no, she's not. Are we in pre-intermediate one? Uh, uh, yes. Inter? Yes. Inter? Pre-intermediate. Pre-intermedia. Uh, yes, we are. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see. We still got chance for some people, some more people. So let's see, Mr. Juan Carlos Peña. Hello, Juan Carlos. Intermedia. Yes, teacher. Okay, please, would you mind asking Ms. Morena Aguila? Okay. Can you ask the question to Morena? Morena. Okay. okay, Morena. Are you in class? Yes, I am. Is Maria your sister? No, she's not. Is Rebecca in this class? Yes, she, she is in this class. Are we in pre intermediate one? Yes, we are. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay, guys. If you see, it's very, very simple. Okay? So, for tomorrow, I need you to please, well, first, advance in the platform, okay? Review the WH questions because I'm going to be asking you some questions about that related to your day. So if you have the time, remember and practice them, okay? Because at the beginning of the class, I'm going to start with questions, throwing questions to whoever is here, okay? Guys, okay. thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.